Hello, Jason here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you something interesting. I'm going to show you whether you need a cesspool or a septic tank. So what's the difference between a cesspool and a septic tank? Why would you need a cesspool? Why would you need a septic tank? Well, as always, let me show you. Okay, so here we've got the waste pipe from the house. So this is a cesspool. Now, as you can see, it's just got one pipe in. So all the poo, all the wee, all the bath water, the shower water, all the waste water from your house is going to go into this cesspool. Now, you'll notice that there is no outlet on it. So what that means, see on here, it's just a dead end. And what that means is that once the cesspool is full, all right, so once it's full of liquid, then you've got to get it emptied. Now, the frequency of how often you get it emptied obviously depends on how often you use it. But let's just have a look at a one to two bedroomed house. If you've got a one to two bedroomed house, then you'd probably fill a thousand or a two thousand litre cesspool up every three or four days right and that can be expensive and that's why cesspools are not popular anymore so now let me show you what a septic tank is and how they differ from a cesspool so over here we've got an identical tank but this is called a septic tank right so it's got an inlet pipe in which you can see here so all the poo or the wee or the house water waste water goes into the tank but this is where it differs. It's got an outlet pipe on the tank. So all the poo and the fat and the grease and the sludge stay in the tank, but all the waste water leaves the septic tank and enters something called a soak away. So here's your soak away. It's made up from these um, uh, black uh, plastic uh, drainage field crates, okay? And all the liquid soaks away into the drainage field. And so that's why people prefer septic tanks today, because you don't have to get them emptied as regularly. So a typical septic tank, you'd have to get desludged. It's recommended to get it desludged once a year. Whereas with a cesspool, right? If I just go back to the cesspools now for you, the cesspool, if you would just had a small house, one to two bedroomed house there, as I said, you'd be emptying that every week at least every week if not twice a week so cost wise in with a septic tank it will cost you about two three hundred quid a year to get it desludged with a cesspool it will cost you 800 to a thousand pound a month to get it emptied so that's the difference between a cesspool and a septic tank and that's why most people go for septic tanks rather than a cesspool so Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped. If you'd like to see more free videos, then just go onto Google and type in Septic Tank TV. That's my YouTube TV channel. And if you subscribe to Septic Tank TV, you'll be in with a chance to win a free extra large bucket of septic tank soak away worms, which if you put them in your septic tank, means that you never have to get your septic tank emptied again. So listen, you stay safe, you take care, Speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.